statistics is one of the most relevant concepts for MBA as well as your future work life. So please pay close attention. I suspect that GMAT will increase its weightage of stats in GMAT focus. So we have talked about arithmetic uh, mean before when we were talking about arithmetic progression. And at that time, we said that we can find the arithmetic mean of any list of numbers. It needn't be an arithmetic progression. So now we look at that in more detail. Arithmetic mean of n numbers is given by sum of the numbers divided by n. So let's say if I have three numbers, say 9, 10, and 11, I would add them up, get 30, divide that by 3, because we have three numbers, and the arithmetic mean would come out to be 10. Now, essentially, arithmetic mean is that number which can replace every number in the list and the sum would not change. So if I were to write the 9 and the 11, both as 10 each, then the sum of the entire list would not change. It would still remain 30. So the arithmetic mean of this list is 10. For example, let's say I have 8, 9 and 13. Here also, if I write each one of these numbers as 10, I still get the entire sum as 30 in both the cases. The sum has not changed. So the arithmetic mean of this list of numbers is 10. Now, let's say I have this list 8, 9 and 13 and I add another number to this list 10. Has the arithmetic mean changed now? Well, you know, as we discussed that the arithmetic mean of this entire list, 8, 9, and 13 is 10. That means we can write each one of these as 10. Now, if I add one more 10 to the list, of course, the arithmetic mean should not change because each number is equivalent to 10 in this list as well. So the arithmetic mean over here will also be 10. All right. So now I have the list as 8, 9, 13, 10. And let me add a number 15 over here. Well, arithmetic mean has certainly changed now. I cannot write all of them as 10 because if I were to add, I know that the arithmetic mean of these numbers is 10. And if I were to add another number at 10, then the mean would stay the same. But I have not added a 10. I have added a 15 over here. So. I have added an extra 5. So how does the arithmetic mean change? Look, so whatever I add has to be equally distributed among all the members because we basically want to make every member the same. So since every member was 10 initially, if I had added 10, nothing would change. Mean would stay at 10. But I have added an additional 5. This additional 5 goes to each one of these 5 members as a plus 1. Each one of these five members gets a plus one and then the arithmetic mean becomes 11 because then effectively every member becomes 11 because when this new number came in, it came in with an extra five and that that five got distributed among the five numbers that we have now. And that is why the arithmetic mean increased by one and it became 11. Now AM is 11. Now. You know, we can very well use the uh, formula over here, the sum of the values upon the number of values to uh, solve our questions. But this concept of understanding that arithmetic mean is a number that replaces every number without changing the sum um, is very useful in certain questions. We uh, are able to reduce our calculations by a whole lot. Uh, we'll just take some examples shortly. Uh, first, let's take some simple examples. The average age of a group of N people is 18 years. So what this tells me is that there is a group of people, all of them are 18, effectively not, they are not 18. Some One could be 10, another could be 28, we don't know. But effectively, all of them are 18. And how many are they? They are N people. One more person aged 42 joins the group. Now, look, if this person, new person joining in, had been 18, then the arithmetic mean would not have changed. But he is 42. 42 is 24 extra. So he came in with an extra 24. And the new average becomes 20 years. What happened because of this? Because of this plus 2, 4. Everyone got an extra plus 2. Everyone got an extra plus two, including the new person who was coming in because the new average became 20. Since there was an extra 
24 that he had come in with and he was able to give two to everyone including himself then how many people must there would have been there 24 by 2 that is 12 there would have been 12 people then including him so this means that initially we had 11 people this one person came he came in at plus 24 that is 18 plus 24 he had an extra 24 to give so he gave two to everyone including to himself as well and that is why the average became 20 so initially we had 11 people and then when the person joined we had 12 people so what is the value of n since n is the number of people we had initially n must be equal to 11 now, sure enough, you can solve this using the formula as well. Uh, the average age of a group of n people is 18 years. So that gives us a sum of 18n. And one more person joins in. So the sum becomes 18n plus 42. And the new average becomes 20. So this is the new sum. And the new number of people is n plus 1 because one more person has come. So n plus 1. And this is equal to 20. Yeah, now we can solve this uh, equation and get the value of n. You know, you might feel that this is a little easier as of now. You might feel that, well, you don't have to think too much in it. Uh, the calculations is I mean, aren't that much either in this. But then I will see a little bit later that the calculations can get pretty intensive. And this, if we do understand this concept, it helps us solve the questions very, very quickly and orally. I mean, we don't have to write all this down, right? I just say to myself, 18, 18, 18, fine. 42, that means 24 extra. And he gave two to everyone. That means 12 people. So basically, we had 11 people before. So in any case, let's go on to the next example. The average revenue of a group of six corporations is 121. So we know we have six corporations and their average is 121 each. Okay. So let's say that effectively they are have an, uh, they have a revenue of 121 each. When XYZ leaves the group, so let's say one of them leaves the group, the average revenue reduces to 110 million. Now, had the XYZ's revenue been 121 itself, then there would have been no change in the arithmetic mean of the rest of the people, right? But since the person leaving reduced the revenue, the corporation leaving reduced the average revenue to 110, what does this mean? That when this number went away, whatever this number is, the this is the XYZ's revenue. When this person went away, it took away with it an 11 from each one of the other five entities. Because it had given 11 to each one of the other five entities. Right? That is why the average came down to 110. Because now, effectively, each one of them has 110. So then... That means that this particular entity was 121 plus 5 into 11 because it had given that five to the that 11 to the other five corporations and which gives us a total of 176 million. So the revenue of XYZ must have been 176 million. So whenever I read that arithmetic mean of a list is 10, I imagine that all the numbers are at 10. So the ones which were greater than 10 gave some units away to the ones which were less than 10 so that everyone comes at the same level of 10. We'll take a look at some more examples now. When a person aged 42 years is added to a group of N people, okay, so there are N people, the average age increases by 2. So we're not given what their average age is. Let's just say that it is A. Then when a person aged 42 years is added, the average age increases by 2. So the average age becomes A plus 2, A plus 2, A plus 2. That is, I can write the age of everyone as A plus 2. When a person aged 42 is added here. And now the average age has become A plus 2 for all of them. The number of people has become N plus 1. But if a person aged 15 years is added instead, so not this guy, if it is instead 15, then the um, average age decreases by 1. So instead of A, it becomes A minus 1. Of course, we'll still have N plus 1 people because we're talking about replacing this person from 42 to 15. 
So then the average age becomes a minus one. This is when the person added was fifteen years old. What is the value of n? Now look, if the person added in when we have n plus people was at fifteen years, the average was a minus one. But when this person's weight from fifteen, let's assume it went up to forty-two. that is an increase of 27 then the average went up from a minus 1 to a plus 2 from a minus 1 to a plus 2 a minus 1 to a plus 2 which is a plus 3 that is the average increased by 3 when this same person's uh, age went up from 15 to 42 why are we saying same persons because we can just assume since we are replacing this person so one the extra person that we are adding so we are saying that if this person were 15 then the average would be a minus 1 but if this person were 42 that is if he had brought in a plus 27 years with him then the average age would have increased by 3 for everyone including himself as well which means that this 27 must have been divided by 3 that is there must have been 9 n plus 1 people that is that if there were 9 people then an increase of 27 years would be equally divided among all the people and everyone would get a plus 3 in their age and that's exactly what happens so this means that n plus 1 is 9 and that means that n is equal to 8 All right, we can do it by a formula as well. Mm -hmm. When a person age for a large group of n people, let's say n a is the total sum n the number of people and a the previous average. Uh, when a now aged forty two is added, the average increases by two. This is divided by n plus one, and the average becomes a plus two. We are assuming that this is the initial average. and we are uh, in, uh, assuming that this is the initial number of people all right then in the second case we would say n a plus 15 upon n plus 1 would give us a minus 1 now we would need to calculate n out of these two equations but well, now you do see that this method is far better this is a lot easier fewer calculations uh, but of course it does require some innovative thinking so if you do get comfortable with the method this will be awesome you don't have to do all these calculations and we try to avoid calculation as much as possible but if it just seems too tedious well you can very well just stick to it in case you are unable to think in the in these terms you can just stick to this also Okay, the average age of ten friends is twenty-two years. So now I have ten friends, and I know that their average age is twenty-two. So I can write their age as twenty-two for all of them. The age of the eleventh friend is twenty years more than the average age of all the eleven friends together. Now this is a little different. This twenty is this the age of this friend of the eleventh friend, the one that we are adding now, is not twenty more than twenty-two. it's not 20 more than the average age of the 10 friends it's 20 more than the average age of the 11 friends including him so that is let's say if the average age went up to a when this 11th friend was added he this guy has a plus 20 he his actual age is 20 more than a but since a is the average of these 11 friends where has this plus 20 gone of course he has equally distributed it to all the friends because we know that a is a number which can replace every age so this plus 20 must have gotten equally distributed among all the friends and since all the other friends are 10 in number everyone must have gotten a plus 2 right so then the average age from 22 must have become 24 and if the new average is 24 if this is 24 then that means the person who got added his age was 20 more than 24 which is 44 so the age of the 11th person is 44 all right and if you were to do it via a formula okay 
the average age is 220 uh, no the sum of the age 22 into 10 and the age of the 11th friend is we don't know so we would say plus a uh, okay let's just put plus x so that there is no confusion in the variables all right so plus x now divided by 11 right this will be the new average is 20 more than the average age of all the friends together so plus 20 will give us x make sense because this is the new average and plus 20 is the age of the person who was added which is which we assumed is x x is the age of added person so we could have done it this way as well needless to say we prefer the uh, more simple i mean uh, from our perspective this we prefer this method because there are no calculations involved but then again please don't worry if it's if this doesn't seem very intuitive you can go ahead and use the formula also Okay, let's look at arithmetic mean of consecutive integers. You know, so this is a topic which we've already covered in algebra. We discussed arithmetic mean of consecutive integers when we were talking about arithmetic mean in case of uh, arithmetic progressions. So we won't spend too much time on this. I'll just remind you very quickly that in case we have consecutive integers, for example, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, the average over here is the middle number, so 5, because it's an arithmetic progression. So arithmetic mean will be found right at the center. Now, if I add another integer to the right over here, the arithmetic mean will increase by 0.5 and it will become 5.5. But instead of adding this 8, if I were to add a number to the left extreme, that is 2, then the arithmetic mean would have decreased by 0.5 and would have become 4.5 and so on. Anyway, this myth, this uh, concept has been discussed in detail in our algebra video. So do check it out over there.